That was crazy, man. What? I don't even... I barely know what happened. Olivia? There he is in the back. Are we going down? Rabbit, the courier, he vanished? That's what they were talking about. Look at all the credits I got. So I could fail all this if I really wanted to. Where's the cat? It's right behind me. I'm just gonna buy some stuff from you, little kitty. Oh, there's one in the back, too. I gotta remember that. Okay, we're good. Marshal, are you okay? What's with the attitude? I'm only asking because I was worried. You'd think nothing happened at all. I don't need your jabber, boy. Derek Buchanan. I'm not sure. Look, why, he put his hair down. But he seems determined to ignore me. About his own. It would have been the wife. About your daughter. Does she look like you? If she does, well, that's gotta be one unhappy kid. Voted most likely to be carved from stone. No prom date for her. Just having you as a father is enough to scare the boys off, I bet. But that's, that's a dick a thing to say. You're the last person I'd expect to be carrying a picture of your family. What'd you think was gonna happen? I don't know who you are. But if you want to keep sucking down air, never talk to me again. What the As fuck? As for your other inquiry, my daughter does not need the likes of you worrying about her. She looks like her mother. Thank you very much. Marshal Buchanan doesn't know who I am? There's something very odd going on here. But just what is it? Does that count as evidence? Foam finger. That's so random. Nothing says Boston quite like this. There must be a baseball fan on board. Yeah, but it's a different flight. Oh. Damn it. Just let me out. Oh my god, no, stop. Now he looks different. And a different style. Everything's different. Oh, 
Ma Sherry, I know. You must have been so scared. How is my Suki? Okay. There'll be champagne as soon as we arrive in D.C. Ooh, I think some Chardonnay might be nice. Didn't your mannequin just break? Hey! Excuse me! She's Suki, not a mannequin! Therefore, she most certainly cannot ever just break. Do you intend to make an enemy of the entire fashion industry? No. That mannequin got totally wrecked. Tut tut! Say another word, mister, and I shall unleash my anger! Okay, you win. Forget I even asked about your mannequin. <sighs> my bad. No more about Suki. That's right. She's not a mannequin. We can forget this ever happened. Of course, us being top fashion designers, we're never going to remember you anyway. <laughs> what the hell is going I on? I don't do autographs. I'm here on my private time. When did you become a military maniac? This is a fashion, you heathen. Retro and military, it's called. Both Suki and I are completely anti-war, of course. Okay. But what I really wanted to know was, when did you change your clothes? <sighs> Progress cannot be stopped. When we changed is not what is important. Rather, the question should be, when can we change? Indeed, just look. The fashion we have on right now is already headed toward obscurity. It's imminent, like fluttering petals. At any moment, new inspiration is going to just explode into my brain. Like, oh, uh, of, and, ah, uh, von. So, time travel? <laughs> yes. Your exclamation just lifted the fog from my brain in a flash. Now, say it with me. Oh, Von God. This will be <laughs> my next theme. <laughs> Your mannequin, I mean, is Suki really okay? You're so persistent. Look at her smooth, perfect body. She doesn't have a mark on her. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Soon. Oh, you're so good. Oh, my Suki. Suki, you are just too lovely. This guy if is just... I were to lose you, I doubt I could go on living. This does look like the real Suki. Is it just what's going on here? Time travel, my friend. Cutting edge of fashion. Okay, we're done. So, should I talk to this guy again? Marshall. <laughs> I'll be slapped with a match penalty if I push my luck any further. I'd better look for another way before I'm sent off for good. <laughs> okay, I have to get something with him. I just chose the wrong thing. Can I move this? Like, who 
Who the fuck? What do you want? What are you looking at? When did you move to this seat? When indeed, young Mr. Young. So funny you would ask. What does that mean? If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. You of all people should understand. Stop doing that. Like, seriously, it's creepy as fuck. If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. Lightning strike. That lightning strike. How did you know about it before it even happened? Don't tell me you can control lightning strikes. Your ability to look is not bad. But you need to be able to observe a little more carefully. He talks so fucking... Everyone in this game talks annoying, like... We're good, right? What are you looking at? You can't get rid of me like that. Mr. Young, just look King is not enough. You must observe. I'm sure you understand the difference. Looking and observing. I don't have time for a lecture. Just answer my question. I thought that I did. Observe carefully and you'll get it. I don't get it. What are you looking at? You can't get rid of me like that. Really? Mr. Oh my god. Just looking is not in. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. You must observe. I get it. How do you shut him up now? I'm sure you understand the difference. I do, yeah, okay, thank you. Must I, I don't listen? just say I uh I got it. I got it. Okay, never mind, it's not working. Did you observe? The engine isn't damaged. You have good observational skills. You already know the answer. Am I correct? Nice. Location of the courier. I should have enough. Do you know what happened to the courier? 
It might be said that I do, and it might be said that I don't. If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. Either way, Mr. Young, you cannot ask me to do your job for you. Is he autistic? Is that why he's doing that? What about that female member of the cabin crew? You mean Olivia Jones? You saw her. Did she remind you of little Peggy? <gasps> What's going on here? What have you done to me? Can you finally see them? These are things with a special meaning. Oh my god, can you, you hurry the fuck up with what your are you talking? talking about? Don't ask him more. Can them if you can you may discover something about her shit Clover is so annoying represent your memories of her don't let them slip away fuck man that guy is just like want a hundred ah it tells you where shit's gonna be What's that about? Oh. Shit. Gotcha. It puts the freeze on. I got it. These random mini games throw, but they give you rewards. What are you talking about? Mr. Young, I've placed a memory left by her in your house. That memory. Oh, my. God to you, Mr. Young. 
God damn. Almost at 4,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? What's he talking about? Leaving something in my house. A memory with her. Clover. Little Peggy? Could it be? Let's try. What do you know about little Peggy? Blonde, blue eyes, and a mole by her eye. Did she smell of the same soap, too? Just how much do you know? Everything you told me all of it yourself, Mr. Young. You're overlaying your memories of little Peggy onto Olivia, aren't you? Just, who are you? It was a snowy night. I remember it very well. Is I feel bad for this voice actor. He must be bored as fuck. Doing okay. Amanda, you know her too? Her well-being is a good thing. A good indication of your own well-being, Mr. Young. Okay, I think we're done with this guy.